decent schedule of boys basketball games tonight leads off Friday Night Fever. Let's go to the Battle of Alger County where Munising visited Superior Central Full House pretty much as usual. Second quarter action for Munising. Gage Webster right there to Ben Stacewich underneath and Ben Power moves it in and Mustangs were within two at, yeah, just six to four. Low scoring first quarter. Next, Trevor Mackey to Skyler Lloyd for three. And that gives the Cougars a nine for advantage. Back the other way for the orange and black. Garrett Blank, Alex Hill driving. Stay switch, puts it up and in. He had 14 points, nine six. Superior Central, Coach Herb Jenkins trying to get the offense going in this slower tempo game. Trevor Mackey to Matt Verbriggy underneath. He will go with the left hand and puts it in 11-6. Superior Central, Coach Dan Waterman trying to get his team going. But it's Verbriggy to Trevor Mackey for three. He ended up with 17. And Superior Central wins the Battle of Alger 45-37. Next, it's red, white, and black against red, white, and black. North Central in the black tonight against Forest Park. And it's Grand Quist to Grand Quist. Rob to Josh. He drives and scores. Next for the Trojans, Derek Eberly short. Chris Hilberg gets the putback. Back the other way now for North Central. Travis Vincent to Rob Grand Quist. And he sees an opening, hits the floater. He led all scores with 24. And the Jets fans who made the trip over were pleased. Forest Park tries to keep it close. Austin Snell, the no-look pass to Derek Averly. He hits the jumper. But the Jets were a little too much tonight. Tyler Pulfitz hits the triple here. North Central, your winner, 67 to 56. Go to the Mid Peninsula Conference, Iron Mountain against the Ishpeming Hematites. First quarter action here. And Joey Lyle will take the pass and he will drive right to the hoop. Doesn't care if he gets bumped along the way. And the Hematites are on the board. For the black and gold, Jerry Perkola to Luke Zambon. And Luke hits for three. Keep the Mountaineers an early lead. Next for Iron Mountain, it will be Perkola to Jake Tommen, who has inside position and gets the hoop and the foul as well. Ishbing certainly keeping it close in the first half. Tyrus Milimaki, that's Bobby Zulke hitting the outside shot. But a big night for Zambon as Taylor Hootery to Tommen. Over to Zambon, he hits from the elbow. He had 21. Iron Mountain goes home with a 44-37 win. To the scoreboard, Westwood had a chance at the buzzer. It bounced away. Manistique takes the 40 to 38 decision. No, you're not seeing things. Menominee let the air out of the ball tonight. Marquette still won 36 to 19. Aiden Winky had 21, three others in double figures for Kingsford, defeating Escanaba 72 69. North Dickinson 64, Parker for Harris 49. Keenan Lampinen had 20 for Carney Nato, holding off Mid Peninsula 62 55. Brett Branstrom 37 points and 30 rebounds for the Wolverines. Big Bay Knock gets a victory, taking care of Rapid River ever so closely, 45-44. It is Camden Leedy with 21, helping Pickford to a 13-point win over Angadine, 65-52. Cedarville tested by detour, but the Trojans win 65-61. St. Ignis cruises past Rogers City, Rudyard 61, Newberry 31. Sault Ste. Marie. 62-46 taking care of Sheboygan. And Dylan Gordon had 43 points and 14 rebounds as Ewan Trout Creek gets past Houghton. 65-48, 43 and 14. That's 67, 37 and 30 from Branstrom. That's 67. We say that they both played really, really well. Let's go to the Copper Country, the Lance Purple Hornets. That's a Hancock Bulldog. Lance down early in this one, but they start coming back. Daniel Peril was finding the range tonight. He hits from downtown, and now Lance trails 17-9. Next possession, Peril for three. Yes, sir. And he just keeps right on going. He would hit six of them in the game. Lance down by five after the first to the second. Brian Cass to Shane Razio. And that one goes in for three. Hancock up 22-14. Lance responds. Jacob Ostermeyer finds his way into the lane. Floats this one in. Purple Hornets within six. Alex Onquist also had a very good game. He gets the ball in the low post, makes a few moves, puts it in. He had 29 on the night, but the Purple Hornets get hot late. 
Keith Denemy finds Ostermeyer, who gets a uh, triple to go. And Lutz takes care of Hancock, 57-56. Paro had 30 for the purple and white. Hop in the car, let's go to Jeffers, where the Calumet Copper Kings are taking on the Jets. Cali met with a double-digit lead at the half and they continue with that success as Jonathan Ilitalo knocks down the baseline. J 34-14, Copper Kings. Jets start getting the flight pattern. Troy Kinnanen knocks down the triple. That cuts to 34-17. And Kinnanen starts to make plays for his teammates as he drives, finds Miles Wyala for the layup and the foul. Makes the free throw within 10 now at 34-24. But Cali met starts to pull away again. Ilitalo, the offensive rebound. He finds Eric Lawson in, and that one is up and good. And on the next possession, Chad Helpy will make a pass. We call those passes when we're in a good mood. And that is another basket for Lawson and Calumet. Goes on to win 61-39. Paul Torla had 30 for the Copper Kings. Back to the numbers. Lakeland and Hubble cruises past Ontonagon 80 to 37. Zach Owens at the buzzer gives Barriga the win over Dollar Bay 40 to 38. Ironwood 52, Washburn 45. Josh Piedela and Carson Reinen and combined for 45 as Chassel dispatches Republic Michigan 61-43. Jonathan Ligman had 23 for the Hawks. In girls basketball, Houghton over Escanaba, 64-38. Norway at home, a win over Nagani, 44-30. It was Barker over Harris getting at least 20 from Sarah Madalinski. Downing Westwood, 68-53. Did not hear from Newberry and Rudyard. Sault Ste. Marie, half a dozen better than Sheboygan. And in the makeup department, Maddie Swanson at 28 for Lance. Purple Hornets over Ontonagon, 49-38. When we come back, high school hockey and more. To high school hockey where the Escanaba Eskimos are at home taking on the Alpena Wildcats and it was a good night for Escanaba to score and score often. Levi Wonders backhander goes through the five hole of Jesse Bullier and Escanaba has a 4-1 lead. And it's four on four hockey a few minutes later. Jake Easton goes by one man, goes by another. We're lucky the camera can keep up with it. Makes the pass to Steve Wood for the goal and the Eskimos have a 5-1 lead. Dylan Gauthier is there for his next for his first goal as an Eskimo. Welcome to the club. And Escanaba goes on to win easily 9-2. Wonder had two goals and three helpers. A school record 51 points in the season. Nick Vandermissen had two goals for Escanaba as well. On the board, Jeffers holds off Nagani 5-3. And Lance defeats the Menominee Marinette Thunder 4-2. College hockey on the women's side, Finlandia hosting Lake Forest. Lake Forest leads 2-0 and Michelle Greenway uh, just keeps right on going. That would be the natural hat trick and uh, yeah, that's three and the Foresters lead 3-0. Uh, Greenway is going to score one more just for grins and Lake Forest went on to win by the count of 5-1. Eddie Gallagher scored the only goal for Finlandia. Free admission for the women's game tomorrow afternoon. On the college hockey scoreboard, Nebraska Omaha holds off Michigan Tech 4-3. St. Cloud State blanks Bemidji State 4-0. It was Denver over Minnesota Duluth 3-0. Wisconsin and North Dakota in overtime tied at 1. CCHA Bowling Green over Lake Superior State 4-1. Michigan gets the goal by Cristobal Nieves to beat Michigan State 3-2. It was Western over Ferris 3-1. And Miami gets past Alaska 4-1. And Ohio State doubles up Notre Dame. That one was 6 3. Big weekend of sports in the Upper Peninsula, including tomorrow. Michigan Tech at NMU basketball tips off at 1 o'clock at the Barry Event Center. We have cross country skiing for Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech, pond hockey in Escanaba, Marquette Redmond, Marquette Electricians Hockey, so much more. Have a great weekend.